Hey everybody, Shannon Marin here with the Marin Marketing Team, EXP Realty and Shannon Marin Personal Real Estate Corporation. I am super excited to bring you Vancouver Island Vision this week and our segment of Vancouver Island People. We are featuring Doug Boken, singer, songwriter, local Campbell Riverite, and he's going to play a few songs for us and get us going. Oh, hey, El Camino, which way should we go? Turn it south on number 10, West Texas flying fast. So I'm here with our first VIP, Doug Fulkins, a dear friend of mine who just had his new CD come on out. So tell us about that, Doug. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Well, the new CD's got six songs on it. This is, I think, my eighth or ninth CD. I started doing producing CDs in 1999, if you can imagine. Wow. But uh, this is actually my second full-on country CD. Yeah. And there's been a couple songs released to radio, and there's a current single out right now called Trouble Is. That's awesome. Yeah. So where do we hear that? What stations? iTunes? Yeah. Well, it's on all the streaming platforms, okay. iTunes and Spotify and wherever you can okay. pirate music. Um, okay. It's only the second week out to radio, but we've 16 or 18 stations playing it right now in Canada. And uh, Sirius XM is the best place for people to catch it out here because it's all across the country and it's on yeah. uh, channel 171 on Sirius XM. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. And it's up on Facebook and everybody's sharing. The yeah, there's a it, lyric so. video coming in the next week or so and it's, people yeah. can grab that on YouTube as well. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. And we're going to hear it pretty quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll do an acoustic version for yeah. you. Yeah, for yeah, sure. that's awesome. Yeah, so, so uh, CDs since 1999, but how long have you do, been doing music now? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, I started in university, so I don't really want to date myself. But yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't start playing guitar really young. I didn't start till okay. I was 18 years old. I, I picked up a guitar and I had a roommate who played. Wow. And I said, you need to show me this because I had no game, right? So I had to <laughs> learn how to play guitar. Awesome. And uh, I started originally like writing songs right away. Like yeah. that was my real passion was writing songs. And I, I started playing music in, in punk rock band because it was pretty simple. Oh and, my, really? Yeah, I was writing songs for a punk rock band. We were called the Chaotic Cesspools of Sin. Like, um, <laughs> and the I love it. And the best part of our band was the name. We were awful, just oh. terrible. But um, <laughs> like our big hit was yes, 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 no, no, no. Oh my so, goodness. But from there, I kind of started playing, going to folk, folk clubs, like a little coffee shops yeah. and folk clubs. And yeah. I couldn't really play the punk music there, but they were playing a lot of maritime music and Celtic yeah. music. And I love the energy of that. So I was drawn to that because it was a transition from the punk actually, because there's bands like the Pogues and yeah. Yeah, um, okay. Dropkick Murphys. And, and so there's a really cool transition. I started playing Great Big Sea songs and- Yeah, which is super fun. We've yeah. had some uh, St. Patty's Day celebrations yeah. and dancing to Dougie's tunes. So, so I have, I have yeah. a real love for that style of music. And um, it was around 2012 where I really started getting serious about being a songwriter first. Yeah. Um, I tried doing my own artist thing for years and put my CDs out and had limited success. I mean, I played a Juno Fest in 2006, went to the Junos yeah. and, um, you know, I had some stuff on CBC radio and that stuff in film and TV a little bit, but yeah. you know, it was a struggle. Yeah. But when I decided to start writing songs, um, got real serious about it and I was like, well, where are the markets? I really decided that I wanted to write songs for other people mm -hmm. and it was either pop or country that take those yeah. are the kind of markets. Okay. So I, I folk was closer to country than it was to <laughs> pop. I knew nothing about pop. So, so I really immersed myself into that. And I found this guy named Larry Wayne Clark who became my mentor. Um, he's okay. since passed on, but he took me under his wing and kind of yeah. showed me how to craft a song. And I've taken courses and seminars and gone to Nashville, mm, gone to Nashville for lots of times. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, in 2014, I got a publishing deal in Nashville. So I've been going back and forth once or twice a year, or sometimes three times a year, except for COVID, but uh, they did manage to get there once this year already. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, that's great. That's so since great. then I've been, you know, writing 100 to 150 songs a year. And uh, holy smokes, that's a lot of songs. Right? Yeah, and it's been good. And people have been recording them. And just just this year, okay. I've hit the 100 recording mark where uh, 100 of my songs have been recorded by other people. How about you play? All right. So, okay, so. We'll do Trouble Is first. This is the new single, and then I'll play the Hula Girl on the dash after, so. Okay, awesome. Well, I can 
could move to the west coast and Disappear from this town like any other ghost Find some green grass and turn it all around There ain't nothing holding me down Yeah, and I could just leave right now Trouble is, I ain't over you I lie awake and I wonder what you're up to I could point my truck down the interstate But for some reason it keeps driving by your place And everybody's trying to find me a new girlfriend But I can't go there yet No, I'm not ready for that step Trouble is, I hate all the you I lie awake and I wonder what you're up to I close my eyes me it's better than most of the stuff that's out there on the radio well i'm i i'm appreciative of you saying such nice things and uh i think you thank you for bringing access hollywood to the house here too yes this you're is, welcome you're welcome we thought i was just doing an iphone <laughs> interview did, yeah. <laughs> i'll yeah. play uh i'll play the hula girl on the dash this was the previous single that came out in may mm -hmm. and it did quite well as well uh, yeah. quite well for me Okay. Um, I wrote this with it's a girl fun. from Nova Scotia named um, Michaela Lynn. Okay. So. Everybody needs a hula girl. Everybody needs dash. a hula girl, yeah. <laughs> Avocado green, chrome pipes out the sides. Looking a little bit lonely. Sign said you could own me. I climbed up inside, it was love at first ride. No turning back from this dream. Oh, hey, El Camino, which way should we go? Turn it south on number 10. West Texas flying fast. Open roads for that peace of home Chasing down that feeling Oh hey El Camino Which way should we go? Turning south on number 10 West Texas flying past With my hand out the window Chesney on the radio
sky It's old food for my windshield And I can't help but drive Oh hey El Camino Which way should we go? Turn it south You're awesome, Doug. Thanks so much for watching Vancouver Island Vision and our segment of Vancouver Island People. Please listen for Doug Fokens on the radio and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more great interviews.